Welcome to Prime Sports Media, baby! <laughs> All right, everybody, what's going on? This is Prime Sports Media. I'm your host. Welcome here. We're going to get into it right now. This is about D. On Sanders, Coach Primetime. He's done it again. He continues to recruit some of the best young men in this country. Don't underestimate him. Don't sleep on him. Yes, he did lose some recruits to the transfer portal, but he's getting guys in and he's just done it today. He's nabbed a young receiving prospect from Baylor who flipped from West Virginia and is now going to come to <laughs> and play for the gold and black. That's right. We're talking about Jalen Ellis. He's coming, y'all. He's coming. Now, this is a young man who was an All-American coming out of high school. So he was a top recruit. A lot of people were looking to get him. Okay. 24-7 had him rated pretty well. But this is the thing. This is what is equalizing college football. I think this transfer portal situation is going to equalize college football as we know it. Some people like it. Some people don't like it. Maybe most of the other coaches don't like it because they can't recruit that well. But it's allowing kids to get into the transfer portal, go to a school that maybe they wanted to go to when they came out of high school but got overlooked, and now these schools are checking for them. Maybe they got a situation and they're saying, hey, I think I might fit in better in this system. And so as a result, someone like primetime coach Dion has the charismaticness, he has the style, the energy to recruit these young men. Remember, not too long ago, he said this. I want to put this on the screen here. And I want y'all to see what he said not too long ago. Check this out. We recruiting this weekend. And we ain't just recruit. We recruiting, recruit. And I just brought several recruits up here and I showed them this. All oh, this. And remember he said, hey, look at what I've got to offer you recruits. Look at what we're doing over here. We're building something. This is about winning. And Dion, he means business. He's not playing folks. They're working out there. You can see hard. They're training. They're enthusiastic. They love Coach Primetime. And look, never, never doubt this man. I think he's transforming this whole program. Keep this in mind. Deion Sanders, Coach Primetime, is going to be opening up, I believe, an open camp in June and May. So if you were a high school player that got overlooked by a college team or you're a JUCO player that got overlooked, or something happened where you didn't even, um, something just happened in your career, you can go to Colorado. It's going to be an open training practice there to see if you can make the team. Look, Dion is trying to reshape this team in his image of excellence and winning. And this is why Jalen is a great fit for the program. Now, if you think Jalen doesn't have skills that is necessary for a young man like Shador Sanders to have someone with his skill set to really make their offense that much more potent. I want you to take a look of what this young man can do when the ball is thrown to him, when the ball is, look, check this out. In the backfield behind Shapin. That's what it's about. Now, originally he was committing to West Virginia, West Virginia. And he has now said, no, I'm not going there. And let's give some details to this. Now, Jalen initially announced his commitment to West Virginia University just a few days after attending the gold blue game. Now, what is his stats? He stands at six foot three, weighing 184 pounds. Ellis would have given the Mountaineers another wide receiver for a program looking to build up their depth at a position he appears in 13 games at a position that they truly needed at West Virginia. But now he's coming. You know where he's coming to prime time. He's playing in Colorado 
And this is just what it is. I'm sorry, Mountaineers, but you're not getting them. He played 13 games with Baylor. He caught five passes for 141 yards and a touchdown. So he's still a young talent that has room to grow. And could he possibly grow with prime time, with Coach Prime Time? Let me give you this clip breakdown here. Transfer wide receiver Jalen Ellis brings necessary explosiveness to the wide receiver position, at least that's what they were hoping at West Virginia, but he's bringing that explosiveness to <laughs> Colorado. <laughs> West Virginia accomplished two things by acquiring him. Well, y'all didn't get him. He's not going. He's changed his mind. This is the power of free agency within college football for these young men. Now, at the time, Ellis was the third transferred receiver added to West Virginia, along with Devin Carter, Jay Polk, and West Virginia also still has offers out to other transfer receivers, but he's not coming. They've lost him. He's coming. He's coming. We know he's coming because Colorado is coming. Coach Sanders is coming. He's coming to Colorado, folks, and he's going to make it his mark here with this team, Shador Sanders, Travis Hunter, shallow everything that coach prime has to offer you see them working hard there and doing it that was a uh, mathis you just saw a few minutes ago on the screen they go travis hunter they go to the coach right there doing the damn thing so you can't underestimate coach prime time ability to get these recruits to get people to come over and be a part of what he's got going you just can't the man's telling you what are you waiting what for you Read the shirt. What you want? Right. On? Get your butt to Colorado. Show them what your skills are. And if you are not recruited out of high school from a college team, this is your chance, y'all. Go out there in June and and in May. They put it up on the Facebook page of Colorado, the sports page about these tryout dates. Uh, Coach Prime is trying to build something here, real something legitimate. Um, I think the naysayers out there need to definitely um, take notice of how he's building this team. He's giving people chances. And look, the question is, do you want to win? Do you have the skill set like this? Look at this. I think we got to not doubt this man because even if he loses some players here and there, there's always more players coming in as he's told you before. What you, what wait you are waiting for. <laughs> Recruiting yeah, weekend. tell we him, Dion. We recruit, recruit. This and Saturday, we're recruiting hard. And I showed them this. That's right. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get ready to get on out of here. They've done it again. They've got Ellis out of Baylor, who was originally going to go to West Virginia, right? But now he's flipped his commitment to yours truly, Colorado and Coach Prime Time. Everybody, take care and thank you. Peace.